we'll go through an example of writing the head code and we'll do that manually. But the first tag you need to define the type of the document for that you'll use this tag, then HTML, and we'll wrap all of the code within this HTML tag. Now, let's just write the head first. So this is the head. And for the second tag, we'll go for the body. Okay, let's just add a simple paragraph and then we'll go for a fake text. So this Lauren here is just a fake text and I refresh the page. I'm not defining the title on the head and this is why we have this page.html title because by default, if you don't define the title within the head, it will use the name of the page. In our case, the page is page.html and this is why we have this page.html on the title. For that, let's just define a title manually and I'll add the title tag within the head Then I will go for a home page as a title. Save that, refresh the page and we have a home page instead of page.html. So this head is missing the page character encoding meta tag. So for that, I will go for meta, then trust it, and I will use the default one, which is the UTF-8, and save that. Now, if I refresh the page, you don't see any change. Let's just copy an Arabic word within the page. Okay, I'll just copy that here. Refresh the page, there is no problem. The word is shown correctly. But what if I change this UTF-8 to another one? I will go for the ISO 8859 and 1. Now, if I refresh the page, you see this bizarre characters. And, and this is what the process is doing exactly. It's just changing the character encoding of the page. Once I use this one, so the character are not shown. So even if I use a French word and I will go for this word right here, so you will see that the first character is not shown because it's a special character. So for that, once I just move to UTF-8, so it will just show the character correctly. And this is just a simple example on how a meta tag can control the output of the rendered result from the browser. Now we'll use a meta tag which is used to describe the content of the page. So we'll go for meta, then name and description. Now the content of the meta name description or the content of the description should be here. The description should be explicit. Okay, let's just go for this is a home page. Save that. But the result of this meta name description will not be shown here. This meta name description is used by search engines to define what your page is about. Now, if I just move to Google and type uh, quantum computer, this is just a keyword. I'm trying to find something on Google. And let's just click on this link and I will view the source of this page. View the page source. Okay, let's just move to Google again. Let's just open that side by side. This is the article. Once I just type quantum computer on Google, I have some information here. I have the title, the link, and the description. So the title is the title from the tag title. And this is what they have. What are quantum computers and how they work. And this is what they have. The same title. And this meta name description. So I have a description here. And this is the same as the description from the search engine. So this is what the description is used for. It's just to give some information about the page or to describe the content of the page. Then the search engine will know exactly exactly what this page is about. And if you take a look at this source, you will see that there is multiple meta tags used and they are just used to provide metadata about the HTML document. Don't focus on all of them, just focus on what you are using here and in order to just have this simple result. And for sure, we will learn for some other ones in the future.